Okay, balancing redox reactions. This is going to be done by what's called the half reaction method. So on Friday, we discussed how to tell if something was oxidized or reduced based on its oxidation state. So to balance it, we are going to separate out each the reduction reaction and the oxidation reaction. We will balance them separately, and then we will add them back together, canceling out what appears on opposite sides of the equation and what appears on the same side we'll add together. Okay? There are two basic types. There's acidic redox and basic redox. Or there's neutral, but acidic and neutral are balanced the same way. If it is a basic um, redox reaction, there's an extra step we have to take at the end. Okay, so these are the steps. The first thing you're going to do is divide it up into your two half reactions. Second thing is you're going to balance all of the elements except for hydrogen and oxygen. We're saving those for last. Okay, so we'll balance all the other elements. The third step is we're going to balance any oxygen by adding water to the appropriate side of the equation. Okay, so the only way you can balance oxygen is to add water. Of course, when we add water, that's H2O, so then our hydrogens become out of balance. So then we will balance the hydrogen by adding hydrogen ions. Okay? Then when that's all said and done, we have to do something new that we haven't done before, and that is we have to balance the charge. Okay? The charge has to be the same on both sides of the half reaction. So that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be zero on both sides. So that sometimes confuses kids. Sometimes they think, oh, it has to be zero. No, sometimes it's going to be a negative two on both sides. And we're going to balance that charge by adding electrons. So that's the only thing we can do to balance charge is we're going to add electrons to the appropriate side. Now, on your half reactions, one reaction should have electrons on the reactant side. One should have them on the product side. If you do this and you have the electrons on both sides of the equations, you have done something wrong because you cannot have oxidation without reduction. Okay, so if it's an oxidation reaction, where should your electrons appear, product or reactants? First of all, what is oxidation doing? Oil rig. Oxidation is loss of electrons. So if something is losing electrons, where should they appear? Product side, you are correct. So reduction is gain of electrons. So then if it's a reduction reaction, the electrons should appear on the reactant side. Okay. But if you ever do one of these and you got electrons on both sides of the equations, you did something wrong. Okay? Um, after we are done balancing our half reactions, we need to look at them. Okay? We need to have the same number of electrons in both half reactions. If you do not, you're going to multiply them by an integer. Okay? And make them be the same. So if I had one that had three electrons and I had one that had two electrons, what would I make them be? Six, so I would multiply one by two and one by three, and then I would get that equal. Then I'm going to add my half reactions back together, canceling out what appears on opposite sides, and if anything's on the same side, I'm going to add them together. Okay? And then if it's a basic solution, we got one extra step, and that is at the end, however many free hydrogen you have, you'll add that how many hydroxides. Okay? So all of that makes no sense to you right now. That's why we're going to work some problems. Okay? It's kind of like when I explained the steps of stoichiometry. They didn't make sense until I showed you how to do stoichiometry. And then most of you found it very simple. Okay. All right. So this is our first example. It is an acidic solution, which means we will not be adding any hydroxides. So we're going to do the easy one first, which is the iron. So we're going to pull that half reaction out. If you have different color inks, this might be a good time, like different color pens. Might be a good time to pull that out and let's, when you're writing a step, write them in different colors so it's just your signal when you're looking at it that, hey, I gotta do a next, another step. You don't have to, it's just helpful. Okay, so we're gonna do iron first because it's the easiest one to notice. So here I have iron plus two or two plus going to iron three plus. Okay? So my elements are already balanced. I have no oxygen present, so I don't have to mess with water and hydrogen ions. But I do not, however, have my charges balanced. One side of the equation is a plus 2. The other side is a plus 3. Okay? They have to be equal. The only thing I can add to balance a charge is an electron. So I'm going to need to add an electron to what side here? Product, Product side. So I'm going to say plus 1 electron. Okay? So now this one is balanced with elements, balanced with charge. Did you have a question? 
so then when you add it, does that just become two? Does what become two? Now, now both sides have a two plus charge. So both sides are balanced with their charge. They're, they were already balanced with the number of elements. Okay? On your notes, this is supposed to be MnO4 with a negative one charge. Somehow the four got put as a superscript. So you can never subtract electrons? Nope, we're not. We can only add electrons. So now we're going to do our other half reaction MnO4 minus going to <coughs> Mn2 plus. So my magnesium is already, not magnesium, manganese is already balanced, but my oxygen is not. So what do the rules say about balancing oxygen? What is the only way I can balance oxygen? Add water. Add water. So I'm going to add 4H2O to this side. Now I have some hydrogen that are out of whack, so I need to add 8 hydrogen to this side. So now all of the elements are balanced, but the charge is not balanced. Okay? The product side currently has a 2 plus charge. What does the reactant side currently have? Huh? 7 minus? 7 plus. 7 plus. 7 plus. Because I have 8 hydrogen and 1 negative there, so it's a 7 plus charge. I need it to equal a 2 plus charge. So how many electrons will I add to the reactant side? Five. Okay? So now that's a reduction. Double check that I've got electrons on opposite sides of my equation, so I at least have my oxidation and my reduction um, balanced separately. Now, one of them has five electrons, the other one only has one. So I'm going to multiply this equation by five because I need my electrons to be the same amount for the reduction and for the oxidation. So now I'm going to rewrite and add them up together. All right, what appears the same on opposite sides that I can cancel? The electrons. So I'm going to say cancel, cancel. Everything else has to appear in the final equation. So now let's add them together and write the whole equation. So we're going to have 5 Fe2 plus plus 8 hydrogen plus a permanganate yields. I just realized that I forgot the Fe up here, the F of the Fe. Did y'all see that? Why didn't y'all tell me? So now we are going to, that we have our final equation, we're going to double check and make sure that everything is balanced. Okay. Oh, it should be. Thank you. See, that's why we double check. Okay. Now we do our, at, our atom count on both sides. We have five iron on both sides. We have eight hydrogen on both sides. We have a manganese, a manganese, and then we have four oxygen. So our elements are balanced. Now let's check our charges. Total over here is how much? 15, 17 plus? Right? And 17 plus over here, because I have 10 plus 8 minus 1, so 17 plus over there. So everything's good to go. We are done. Okay? When you were doing this, it does not matter. We could have chosen to do the manganese uh, permanganate half reaction first. It doesn't matter which one you choose to do first. Okay? I just pulled out the easy one for us to do first. I usually just, whatever's the easiest one to do, I do that one first. So it doesn't really matter, okay? Some teachers are like, do the oxidation first, do the reduction first. I don't care which one you do first, as long as you do them both and you do them correctly, okay? 
So now the next example is going to be a basic one. Okay. Any questions before I move on? Is, that, is anybody wanting to know why I did something? Okay. So the next one is silver plus cyanide going to, plus oxygen going to a silver cyanide complex, which is a complex ion. So we're going to pull out our half reactions, and we're going to say Ag plus Cn minus is going to Ag Cn2 minus 1. Why do I know that that's, that's the only thing those two things can go to, right? So I'm going to do O2 is going to, we don't know yet. So we're going to leave it like that. So let's balance the first one. Uh, first thing I see is that I have two cyanides on the product side, so I'm going to need two cyanides over here. Do you agree? Okay. So now we're going to balance my charge. I've got a negative one on the product side and a negative two on the reactant side. So I'm going to need to add an electron. Where will I add it? Product side. So one electron. So now elements balanced, charge balanced. Okay? So I told you earlier what is the only way that we can balance oxygen? Add water to the other side. So we're going to say 2H2O. So that means how many hydrogen to the other side? Four. Four. So let's balance our charge now. I got a zero and a four plus. So the only thing I can do is four electrons. So that means I need to take the first equation and multiply by 4. Yes? So now I have 4 Ag plus 8 Cn minus 4 Ag Cn2 minus plus 4 electrons. Only thing that can cancel is the electrons. I did it again. I wrote too big. I needed more space. So now let's write it out. 4 Ag plus 8 Cn minus plus 4 H plus plus O2 yields 4 Ag Cn 2 minus plus 2H2O. I'll let you catch up, and then we have to talk about what we have to do next, because this is a basic solution. So if we have a basic solution, can we have any free hydrogen? Because what do free hydrogen make something? An acid. Absolutely. So however many free hydrogen you have, you have to add that many hydroxides to both sides of the equations. Equation. So we're going to say plus, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this in a different color. So we're going to say plus 4 hydroxide here, plus 4 hydroxide here. So what do you think that's going to make? Water, absolutely. So that's actually going to end up making four water. But now the problem becomes I have water on both sides. Can I have water on both sides? No, I have to cancel, right? So I'm going to cancel out these two water, and then I'm going to make this one be a two. Because I had these two water right here, I have to make this 4 become 2 water because they cancel each other out if they're on opposite sides. So my final equation, which is going to be hard for me to write on there, is going to be, I'm going to write it up here, hopefully, 
final equation is 4AG plus 8CN minus plus 2 water plus oxygen yields 4AG CN2 minus plus 4 hydroxide. And that's the final equation for that. The Gremlins. I'm going to work two more. <laughs> I'm not just, oh, there you go, go to town, figure it out. No, I'm going to work two more. Okay? I'm going to work another acidic one and another basic one. But this is where you should ask questions if you're confused. Everybody's got it? They're not confused? Well, okay. Wait, so what's the total charge on each side? Uh. Eight minus on both sides. So why do you always uh, multiply the like on top? Right here. Right here. Right. Oh, it's not right. This right here. Yes. Why do you always multiply by the electrons that you? You they these have to be the same, because when you add them up, remember we can't have oxidation without reduction, so there has to be an equal exchange of electrons. Okay. So if that one is needing to gain four electrons, the, re the reduction part, then I have to have four, four electrons to oxidize to lose. And so that means I have to have more of the reactants that are in the oxidation. Uh, the one we're fixing to do is going to actually be like not, like this time we only had, the last two times we only had to multiply one of them. The next one we're fixing to do, you have to multiply both of them to get them to be equal number of electrons. But that's why, because they have to have, if I need four, you've got to have four to give me. Okay, that kind of thing. Okay? All right, so if you turn the page, there's two reactions. Um, you can either write these on the back of your packet to practice, or if you need to grab notebook paper, I've got some up here. So this one is an acidic one, and it's... 5IO6 plus NO yields NO3 minus plus IO3 <coughs> minus. And this is acidic, so that means we do not have to add any hydroxides. Okay? So which one do you want to do first? The HIO ones or the NO ones? You pick, it doesn't matter. You know? Okay, so we're going to do the NO first. So NO is going to NO3 minus. So my nitrogen's already balanced, so I need to balance my oxygen. So I need to put some water somewhere. Where and how many am I going to put my water? I'm not going to put 3H2O. 2H2O, because I already have one oxygen. So 2H2O, which then means I need to put 4 hydrogen over here, which then means I'm going to need to balance my charge. So reactant side is a zero charge, neutral. Currently, the product side is 3 plus. Do you understand why it's 3 plus? Got a 4 plus and a negative 1, which makes 3 plus. So that means I need to put how many electrons? Three. three electrons. So now that is balanced with charge and with elements. Okay? So now let's do the H5IO6 going to IO3 minus. Again, I'm going to need to add some water. Because I got a six and a three. So I'm going to add three water over here. <coughs> so 
So now I have a total of six oxygen, which is what I need. So now my hydrogen's out of whack. So where am I going to need to put hydrogen? Okay, and how many hydrogen? Just one. Okay, so my charges is I have a plus one on the reactant and a negative one on the product. So where am I going to need to add electrons and how many? Yeah, two. two electrons to the reactant side. Okay, so now my two half reactions are balanced. Okay, if, you're, if, you, if you have questions, this is when we stop and ask them. Because then if I just keep going, you're just getting more confused. Do you have a question? Huh? Ah, gremlins. Okay, the charges of the, the either the ions? Huh? Yeah. So before, so let's look at this one right here. Before I added electrons, this was a plus one right here. That was a negative. So this one was a negative one. This one was a positive one. Okay. I need them to be the same on both sides of the reaction. So it's easier to deal with, like, one for each side of the time rather than side. Because, like, you're actually going to ignore the H5 by the 6, right? It's, a, it's neutral charge. There's no charge on it. There's, if there's nothing listed right here, mm -hmm. then that means it's neutral. Zero charge. So you yes. Because remember, compounds are electrically neutral, meaning they do not have a charge. It's the ions that have a charge. And these are free ions in solution. Okay? Does that help? Okay. So now I see that I have a 3 and a 2, which is not equal to each other. So I need to make them be the same amount of electrons. So I'm going to multiply this one by 2, this one by 3. And then I'm going to rewrite everything. So I have 4 H2O plus 2NO yields 2NO3 minus plus 8 hydrogen plus 6 electrons. So there's my oxidation. For my reduction, 6 electrons. <laughs> plus 3 hydrogen, plus 3 H5IO6, yields 3 IO3 minus, and 9 water. I will let everybody catch up before we start canceling stuff. Now when we add them back up, we're going to cancel what appears on opposite sides of the arrows. So we know that we're going to be able to cross out the electrons. We should always be able to cross out the electrons. So goodbye electrons. Now that doesn't mean they're disappearing. We just don't show them in the final equation. Okay? I notice that I have water on opposite sides. Here I have four water. Here I have nine water. So I'm going to cancel this, and I'm going to make this be five. That doesn't look like a five. I also notice that I have hydrogen on both sides. Cancel this, make this be 5. Anything else that can be canceled? Then we rewrite and write down what's left and put them back together. So 2. So we again. Yes, well, you have to write the final, the final balance. Yes. 2NO. Plus 3 H5IO6 yields 2 NO3 plus 5 hydrogen plus 3 IO3 minus. plus 5 water. So now we double check and make sure that everything 
all the elements equal each other and the charges equal each other on both sides. So let's do our element count first because that's the easiest. I have two nitrogen on both sides. I have three times six is 18, 20 oxygen. Do I have 20 oxygen on the other side? <coughs> yes. Nine plus six is 15 plus five is 20. Um, I have 15 hydrogen on both sides. So now let's look at our charge. I have zero charge over here, neutral charge. And then I have negative five plus an Positive 5 is 0, so everything is balanced. Okay? This is acidic, so we're done. This would be our answer. Now let's do a basic one. Yes? So if you get to the final one and your charges are messed up, you did, you, so if you get to the final one and your charges are messed up, the first thing that you would check is make sure you pull down the negative. Because when I first wrote this, I forgot to write the minus. And I, as I was writing it, I looked back and go, I'm going to need that. And so double check that first. If after you know you've got all the charges not adding up, then that means you balanced one of the half reactions wrong. I mean, and I'm going to tell you, if you get like huge numbers, like, you know, 72 electrons, you're doing something wrong. You shouldn't get 72 electrons. It shouldn't be real super large numbers. Okay? So let's do the acidic one. And then you can practice. You have tomorrow, after the uh, quick homework quiz, you have the entire class to work on this. Okay? It's not due until the next day, and we're going to be taking a homework quiz over it. Basically, I'm going to give you an acidic and a basic reaction to balance, and that's going to be your homework quiz. And it'll be different for each class. I'll give each class a different one. Why would I do that? Okay, so next one is basic. So we have Sb2O5 plus I minus yields Sb3 plus plus I2. And this is basic. So what's the thing with basic? You are adding, uh, you are adding hydroxide? Basic ones, we're going to add hydroxide, but we do not do it until after we've completely balanced it. So it's just like one extra step. Okay? So which one do you want to do first here? I, because it's the easy one, right? Uh, first thing I need to do is balance my iodine. Now I need to balance my charge. Reactant side is a negative 2, product side is neutral, so I need to add two electrons. So now let's do the other one, Sb2O5 going to Sb3+. plus. First, the first thing I need to do? No. Balance the SB. I have two. I need two. And most likely, if you get to the end and your charge don't, do not add up, you forgot to do that. Because that right there makes a big difference in my, my charges, right? Because um, 6 plus instead of 3 plus now. Okay. Now I need to add water. I need 5 water because I have 5 oxygen. So that means how many electro I mean how many protons? Ten. So my total charge is um, six plus on the re product side, because I have two times three plus. My other side is ten plus. So how many electrons do I need? Four electrons. Does everybody agree with that? So what do I need to do to the first one then? I need to multiply this one by two. So, uh huh. Why would you just like? Oh, you can't. Why would I put? You mean what? Are you asking why would not? Why did I not add them over here? Yeah. Because then. I'm trying to get to 10 plus over here. If I add electrons, I'm going the wrong direction. Yeah. And you can't subtract electrons. We don't in any balanced equation, we never subtract things. We only are adding things, right? Okay. So let's rewrite. We've got four iodine minus going to two I2 plus four electrons. 
four electrons plus ten. Now cancel out anything that we don't, I mean anything that's on the opposite sides, which in this case is only the electrons we're canceling. So rewrite, collect all your terms or however you want to call it. If this were an acidic solution, we would be done, but it's not. It's basic, which, by the way, you will be told if it's a basic solution. You have to be told. If it's not, if it isn't the same thing, then you assume it's either acidic or neutral, which are balanced the same way, okay? But if we have to say, hey, this is a basic solution, okay? So that's what, that's your clue to say, i got to add some hydroxides. So i got to add 10 hydroxides to both sides. Guess what this makes? Makes 10 water. But looky here. I got five. I have five on this side, so I'm going to cancel. And then I'm going to make this be five. Oh, don't do this. It's starting to act up. So now rewrite it for the final equation. 4i minus plus 5H2O plus SB2O5 yields 2I2 plus 2SB3 plus plus 10 hydroxide. I don't like doing 10 hydroxide. It looks like it's blue. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So let's do, let's do our count. 4 iodide, yes. 10 hydrogen, yes. 5 plus 5 is 10 oxygen, yes. And 2 SBs. So everything's balanced. Now let's look at our charge, right? 4 minus on the reactant side. On the other side, we have 6 plus plus the 10 negative, which makes it 4 negative. So now our charges are balanced. So that's basically a way to double trick yourself. Because if it doesn't add up there, you did something wrong. Go back and punt. Drop back and punt. Start over. Well, when you're multiplying by two, how do you know like how to, uh, how, how do we figure out what we're multiplying by? The two I minus. Oh, because originally this had two electrons, this had four. They have to match. Because again, if if the reduction needs to gain four electrons, the oxidation has to be able to give two. So it's it's normal reduction potential only has two. So you got to double it. It's kind of like when we were balancing reactions. You had to make sure everything was balanced. You, that same thing. You got to have it. electrons are balanced now. Okay. Any questions? Aren't y'all glad you're here today? Yeah.